Hello everyone, how are you all today? I hope all of you are doing all right at home and we are back again with our English lesson with me, so Farhan. And today for our English year 4 lesson, we are on module 6, getting around. Okay, we are on module 6, getting around. Okay, and our subtopic is transportation. Okay, like what I show you here, transportation. Okay, so this is actually a new topic. So I want all of you to pay a very close attention so that you can understand, really understand what we are going to learn today. Right, so first, we are going to look at the word, the yellow word here, transportation. Okay, transportation. I know some of you might have heard about this word, but you are not really sure what is the meaning. But it's okay, I will explain to you. We are going to look at the definition of the word first. Okay, this is the definition, maksud transportation. What is transportation? Okay, what is transportation? Transportation is something that you use to move things or people from one place to another place. Okay, I repeat. Transportation is something that you use to move one things or people from one place to another place. You understand? No. Okay, it's okay. Look at the picture here. Okay, here it says point A. Here it says point B. And then there are tiny little dots here in the middle, black color. What does it mean? Okay. Point A, let's say you are from Melaka, you want to go to Penang. And the tiny dots here are the route. Okay, point A, Melaka, point B, Penang. So how do you get to Penang? How do you get to Penang? You need to have transportation so that that transport can take you from point A to point B or that transport can take you from Melaka to Penang. Okay? Of course, you can walk from Melaka to Penang but I don't think that people do that. Okay? It's quite, it's quite far. It's very far actually. You cannot... You can walk but you don't want to do that. Okay? So, transportation atau dalam bahasa Melayu is uh, pengangkutan okay pengangkutan alright so tu adalah definition that is the definition of transportation get it okay good so if you feel like you're still uh, unclear you can repeat my explanation pause and go back okay so let's go to the type of transportations okay there are three types of transportation, okay? Three types of transportation. The first type is water transportation. Here, water transportation. Pengangkutan air, okay? Pengangkutan air. And then we have land transportation. Land transportation. Ataupun pengangkutan darat. Pengangkutan darat. And the last one we have air transportation. Air transportation. Air transportation atau pengangkutan Udara. Okay, so basically there are three types of transportation. The first one is water, second is land, and third is air. Tiga jenis pengangkutan, pengangkutan air, pengangkutan darat, dan pengangkutan udara. Alright, so let's look at land transportation first. We're going to look at one by one. Okay, land transportation, pengangkutan darat. So these are the examples of land transportation. I think these are very very familiar. We have seen this everywhere on the road. I think most of your parents also have it at home. Okay, car, van, bicycle, motorcycle, lorry and trishaw. Okay, it is I mean like these transportations, these transports are common. We always see this, see them, okay? So, let's go to the next type of transportation. Okay, ni semua pengangkutan darat eh. Pengangkutan land. Land transportation. Pengangkutan darat. Okay, next we are going to look at water transportation. Okay, water transportation. I am sure that there are many water transportation. Okay, but I have here three examples for you all to see. Three examples. The first one is ship. Okay, ship. It's a big... Um, Big transport. You can see it in uh, on the sea. No, no, no. In the middle of the sea, not in the sea. Okay, tengah laut. Um, or you can see it in TV. Okay, Titanic to ship. Okay, 
And then we have a uh, sailboat, sailboat, and the last one here we have canoe. Okay, canoe. So these three examples of uh, these three examples are type of water transportation. Okay, tiga ni adalah pengangkutan air. All right. So next we go on to the last type of transportation, which is the air transportation. Air tadi udara. And then the first example here we have aeroplane. Aeroplane is quite common. Okay, we always see this. Um, we always see this. Okay, in TV or um, up up in the sky. Okay, aeroplane. And also we also have um, helicopter. Almost the same like aeroplane, but it's smaller. Okay, smaller helicopter. And then we have rocket. Uh, rocket. Okay. Um, we might not have been in a rocket before because actually rockets they only take astronauts to the space not us okay so we are we are not astronauts but we have to know that rocket is also a type of transportation okay and then we have hot air balloon hot air balloon very cute very colorful okay but actually hot air balloon it is used by the people back back in the days from dulu dulu eh in the past they use a uh, hot air balloon um, as a means of transport to get to one to get from one place to another they use hot, uh, hot air balloon but it it um, but i think it's going to take them a long time to reach to the destination so as time goes by they do not use hot air balloon anymore but they use it as a tourist attraction okay sebagai tarikan pelancong okay let's say if you go to countries like turkey okay or uh, you know mediterranean countries they have a uh, hot air balloon as tourist attraction they do not use it as means of transport means of transport anymore but they use it as a uh, tourist attraction okay so now you have learned about three types of transportations okay the first one is the air uh, the land transportation the water transportation and the air transportation so let's do some reading okay let's do some reading i want all of you to Turn to page 62. Turn to page 62 of your Get Smart Plus 4 book. Turn to page 62 of your Get Smart Plus 4 books. Okay, once you have turned in you have turned to page 62, you can see this. Okay, you can see this. There are three texts about different means of transport. You can see these texts. There are three texts, three short texts about different means of transport. We're going to read together one by one. Okay, so let's see the first one. Okay, let's read together. A tuk-tuk looks like a motorbike with three wheels. The driver sits in the front and two to three people can sit in the back. Many tourists take tuk-tuks in Thailand. They can be faster than taxis. Riding in tuk-tuks can uh, is fun and exciting too. Okay, as you can see in the picture, uh, this very cute and colorful transport. Okay, it is called tuk-tuk. We don't have it in Malaysia. We it is uh, like mentioned here. It only uh, we can only find it in Thailand. Okay, we can only find it in Thailand, but. We can find something similar to it in in Melaka, which is the trishaw, the becha trishaw, almost the same like tuk tuk. Just that trishaw they use bicycle, but here I think they use motorbike. Okay, they use motorcycle, and then they have like a big space at the back for people to sit in it. Okay, so they have huge space at the back, and people can sit in it. Then they can go travel. I actually have experience be, uh, experience riding in tuk tuk, and I can say it's very very fast and interesting because um, the roads in uh, Thailand are very crowded and packed. 
so the people that they want to get to their destination fast so they uh, avoid using cars they use to do as their main means of transport okay so next we have okay we're going to read together gondolas are long boats in the past people used them in venice italy to get from one place to another gondolas are very slow riding in a gondola isn't very comfortable but tourists love it okay and this is what we call gondola okay gondola same like hot air balloon gondolas are actually not being used as a means of transport anymore because um, we are in modern world now they don't use it anymore because it's so slow but they use it as tourist attraction so uh, when people visit Italy they can experience riding uh, gondola but it says here is it, it, uh, it says here it's not comfortable okay it's not comfortable that's laser okay why I think because uh, in my opinion I think because the seats are quite small okay especially for bigger people they might find it not comfortable but tourists love it why because if they are on the gondola they can see the beautiful scenery of Venice Italy okay so we got to save some money and go visit Italy and try riding the gondola all right so the last text people ride snowmobiles on snow snowmobiles haven't got wheels they have got skis they can go very fast snowmobile drivers have to wear a helmet and very warm clothes it can get very cold on a snowmobile i think this is quite uh, unfamiliar for us okay because we do not have snow okay we do not have snow so this transport is called uh, snowmobile snowmobile and it is uh, apparently very popular in countries which have snow okay they use it have as a mean of transport and it says here it can go very fast Okay, very fast okay as you can see in the second picture it can go like so I think it's very fast okay so the three different means of transport that we have just learned which are tuk tuk from Thailand um, gondola from Italy and snowmobile from countries that have snow okay so I have one question to ask you so this is the question how do you go to school how do you go to school okay how do you go to school so you some of you might answer I go to school by bicycle some of you might answer I go to school by car some of you might answer I go to school by bus okay so let's look at the three sentences again I go to school by bicycle I go to school by car I go to school by bus so what is the similarities in these three sentences okay there is one similarity in these three sentences which is yes the use of the word by okay by okay let me tell you how do you use this word you can use this word when you want to tell people what type of transportation what type of transport what kind of um, yeah what kind of transport that you use to school or to anywhere okay you can use the word by example i go to school by tuk-tuk i go to school by gondola i go to school by snowmobile so you can just replace the type of uh, transportation this uh replace yes and then uh use the word by so that when you say it people know when you say i go to school by bicycle and people people can know that oh you go to school by bicycle that is how you tell people using the word by kita gunakan perkataan by ni untuk bagi tahu orang jenis kenderaan apa jenis pengangkutan apa yang kita gunakan okay we have to use the word by okay so i think that is all for today's lesson um I wish all of you could uh, complete the exercises that I have given you and then uh, submit it into our Telegram channel 
and if you face any difficulties if you have if you have any problems you can uh, call or message or you know hit me up you can ask me any questions i'll be there and i wish you all the best and good luck